Hi everyone, it's Sandra Howdigy, your sales and marketing executive with WFG National Title, and I'm here today to give you your weekly title tip. Today we're actually not gonna be talking about title and escrow. I wanted to take this opportunity to highlight Assembly Bill 237 that was passed this year during the legislative session that impacts real estate. I was the bill sponsor of Assembly Bill 237. I carried it to help add to Assembly Bill 335 that I carried from the 2019 session. And for those of you who were around a couple of years ago, you remember when I got back from the legislature that I gave an update and we talked about all the great things that we accomplished with Assembly Bill 335. One, we capped resale package fees at $185. We extended the life, ex uh, the life of a resale package from 30 days to 90 days. We changed an NRS, the verbiage that said resale packages must be delivered in 10 days. That was interpreted by the industry to mean 10 business days to clearly say 10 calendar days so that Saturdays, Sundays, and holidays are counted. We also capped demand fees at $165, we kept transfer fees at $350, rush fees at $100 and said they had to be turned around in three days. And we also eliminated the fee that allowed um, association management companies to charge $35 for sending, um, $25 for sending the documents electronically. Well, this year we added to that bill. Uh, we accomplished two things with Assembly Bill 237. One, we said that uh, associations can't charge fees other than those fees that are outlined in statute. So we did see after the passage of Assembly Bill 335 that some associations started charging additional fees like maintenance fees, inspection fees of $100, fees that we had never seen before until after the passage of Assembly Bill 335. So what we did was we went into statute and said, now, when it comes to the resale of a property, associations can only charge those fees that are outlined in statute for them. So we are talking the rush fee, the resale, the demand, and the transfer fee. We also added an enforcement mechanism. There are some smaller HOAs that maybe aren't part of the larger uh, trade organizations, uh, HOA management companies that aren't part of larger trade organizations, and maybe sometimes don't keep up with the laws as they change, and we want to make sure that everyone is incentivized to do so so that they are following the law. So we did add an enforcement mechanism saying that um, if an HOA management company is is charging fees other than those that they are allowed to charge by law or charging over than what they are allowed to charge by law that you can report them to the real estate division and they can be assessed an administrative penalty of $250. And so um, that is your update on Assembly Bill 237. Make sure you catch me here next week for your weekly title tip. We will be covering Assembly Bill 398, which I was also the sponsor of. And we will continue every single week with a new update on the bills that were passed this year that impact real estate. Remember, I am Sandra Howdigy, your sales and marketing executive with WFG National Title. I look forward to working with you this year, what's left of this year, on future title and escrows and all of your marketing needs. So reach out to me if you need me, 702-336-4348. And don't forget to write WFG into your next offer or your next listing. Thanks everyone.